when you think of Kostelik, Janica springs to mind. The Croatian considered one of the world's best, the first skier to win four medals in alpine events at one Olympics. But there is another Kostelik, Ivica. Symbolic somewhat that a heat haze masks the sight of skiers at the FIS World Cup slalom event at Flaku in Austria. Ivica, one half of Croatia's most famous sporting brother and sister duo, has lived in the skiing dark shadows of his tremendously successful younger sibling. But on this particular day, Ivica was the one being photographed. And looking at the vast majority of flags and banners in the Austrian crowd, you could have been forgiven for thinking you were in Zagreb. The Croats were out there in thousands to lend support to Ivica. After going off course in Salt Lake City when he looked likely to lift a medal in the slalom, Ivica looked set to erase at least some of the disappointment in Flaku. The win also securing him the coveted slalom World Cup title. With that, Ivica became more than just Janica's older brother. He became one of the most flamboyant stars of the 2002 season when he won the first slalom of the winter despite starting back in 64th position. He also dominated the classical Laberhorn slalom at Wengen. But his best performance certainly took place a week earlier at Abel Bowden after the slalom won by American Bodie Miller. Ivica was extremely pleased to finish in second place that day, despite a major mistake at the end of the second run, and he rushed to the stage where a rock band was playing to the crowd. In trademark ostentatious style, Ivica took the guitar of one of the musicians and sang himself in front of 10,000 spectators his best lyric, Johnny Be Good. Ivica, of course, meaning Johnny in Croatian. The racers were as impressed and excited as the audience that enjoyed his impromptu show. But the smart Croatian has many other talents, including his impressive will. He expressed it perfectly by surviving a series of nasty ski accidents and several knee surgeries that prevented him from finishing a season in good health from 1997 to 2001. His last bad crash happened in January 2001, just before the ski world at Saint Anton. Two months earlier, he finally scored his very first World Cup points at Sistere and felt quite confident at that point. He finished all the World Cup slaloms among the top ten, reaching a podium in Prince Gogora with a third, second place in Abel Bowden and a bronze placing in Schladmin. But it was Flauku that remained his best. With Ivica taking advantage of his costalic pedigree and appearing to have overcome an injury-ridden portion of his career, he is convinced he can excel in other events, even in the dangerous speed disciplines. In fact, Ivica loves speeding down the mountain through a Super G run. In the past, he also raced downhill, signalling his intent to some events in 2003, especially at St Moritz during the 2003 World Championships. Then, he would undoubtedly be out from the shadows of his champion sister.